Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. A telephone call was held between His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Saudi Crown Prince, a Deputy Premier and Minister of Defence, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. They exchanged good wishes on the holy month of Ramadan, wishing both countries and peoples, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns and further growth and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at Sakir Palace the heads of diplomatic missions accredited to the Kingdom. They conveyed to His Majesty the greetings of the leaders of their countries and the best wishes, marking the holy month of Ramadan, wishing His Majesty the King abundant health and for Bahrain and its people further progress and prosperity. They also expressed their appreciation to the pioneering efforts of His Majesty the King in enhancing relations between Bahrain and their countries, in addition to broadening horizons of cooperation and joint action. His Majesty the King welcomed the ambassadors of the friendly countries and exchanged congratulations with them, marking the holy month, lauding deep-rooted historic ties linking the Kingdom with their countries. His Majesty the King also expressed his appreciation for the good efforts exerted by the ambassadors in developing fields of cooperation between Bahrain and the countries within the framework of mutual keenness on achieving all joint objectives and aspirations. His Majesty the King asserted that the holy month of Ramadan bolsters values of brotherhood, solidarity and cohesion among all and emphasised the principles of tolerance and teachings of Islam. Thank you.
The Supreme Commander, His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, hosted an iftar banquet at Al Safriya Palace, marking the advent of the holy month of Ramadan. Present were BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, National Guard Chief His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, National Security Advisor Royal Guard Commander His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa. Royal Guard Special Force Commander, Lieutenant Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, and Interior Minister General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The banquet was also attended by the Defence Affairs Minister, the National Intelligence Agency Chief, the BDF Chief of Staff, the Chief of Public Security, the National Guard Director of Staff, the Strategic Security Chief, and senior officers from the BDF, the National Guard, and the Interior Ministry. The attendees congratulated His Majesty the King on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan and wished him good health and happiness and wished Bahrain and its people further security, stability, progress and prosperity under his wise leadership. His Majesty exchanged congratulations and good wishes, taking pride in the affiliates of the BDF, National Guard, Interior Ministry and National Intelligence Agency for their dedicated efforts to protect national unity, enforce the law and defend the achievements of the homeland. His Majesty commended the coordination and cooperation between the BDF and National Guard and all other security agencies, affirming that Bahrain would remain united and resolve to further development to maintain security. His Majesty extended his greetings to all brave Bahraini servicemen in the Kingdom and abroad, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless the fallen servicemen of the nation and rest their souls in eternal paradise. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gadebia Palace. The cabinet highlighted the development of Bahrain Defence Forces' combat readiness and defence capabilities, noting the recent visit of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander, to the Royal Bahrain Naval Force to inaugurate a number of warships. The Cabinet called for continuous oversight of commodity prices and instructed the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism to ensure the abundance of commodities for the Kingdom's citizens and residents in accordance with the market needs. To mark the International Day of Conscience adopted by the United Nations in response to the initiative of the latest Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, which falls annually on April the 5th, the Cabinet affirmed that Bahrain continues to adopt initiatives that strengthen compassion and global peace. To mark World Health Day, the Cabinet thanked the Kingdom's medical and health professionals for their honourable efforts and sacrifices in the service of the country. The Cabinet noted that the medical workforce are appreciated for their continued efforts and sacrifices to provide the best health care in spite of various circumstances and challenges. The Cabinet welcomed the decision of Saudi Arabia's Cabinet in its recent session chaired by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, to authorise Saudi Arabia's Minister of Energy or his respective representative to discuss with their Bahraini counterpart a draft cooperation agreement between the Government of Saudi Arabia and the Government of Bahrain in the field of energy. The Cabinet welcomed the announcement by the United Nations Special Envoy to Yemen, Hans Grunberg, that a two-month armistice had been achieved. The Cabinet expressed appreciation for the response to the leadership of the Coalition to Restore Legitimacy in Yemen and the Yemeni parties to the efforts of the UN envoy. The armistice came as part of the initiative announced by Saudi Arabia in March 2021 to end the Yemeni crisis in order to reach a comprehensive political solution that guarantees the return of security and stability to Yemen.
The Cabinet discussed and approved the following memorandums. Memorandum by the Minister of Foreign Affairs on the National Human Rights Plan at 2022 to 2026, which includes four main pillars related to civil, political, economic, social and cultural rights, as well as those who require priority aid. A memorandum by the Minister of Defence Affairs regarding a draft law amending provisions of the decree law on the issuance of the law regulating pensions and retirement benefits for officers and members of the Bahrain Defence Force and Public Security. A memorandum regarding entrusting the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs to represent Bahrain at the International Renewable Energy Agency. The Cabinet then took note of several ministerial reports, including the following. A visit to the United Arab Emirates to attend the World Government Summit. The fourth meeting of the Interior Ministers of the International Security Alliance. The participation in the meeting of the Member States of the Organisation of Islamic Cooperation. An upcoming visit to Israel. Participation at the Negev Summit and at the Berlin Energy Transition Dialogue Conference 2022. The outcomes of the seventh meeting of the Bahraini Turkish Joint Committee. Participation in the World Tourism Exhibition, participation in the Global Entrepreneurship Congress and participation in the Arab Meeting of Young Leaders. Participation in the GCC Ministerial Committee for Youth and Sports. The foreign participations of the ministers and the visits of foreign delegations to Bahrain for the month of April 2022. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited the Bahrain Defence Forces General Command. Upon arrival, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister was received by the BDF Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Minister of Defence Affairs, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Nuaimi, the BDF's Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Thia bin Saga Al Nuaimi, and several other senior BDF officers. His Royal Highness was briefed on the BDF's plans and programmes. He then highlighted the BDF's central role in safeguarding the Kingdom, noting that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's ongoing support for the BDF has enhanced its military capabilities and combat readiness. His Royal Highness emphasised the role of the BDF in safeguarding regional security alongside the Kingdom's allies. He commended the BDF's efficiency and military capabilities, as well as the dedication of its members. For his part, the BDF Commander-in-Chief expressed gratitude and appreciation for His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's visit and continued support for the BDF's development. On behalf of BDF members, the BDF Commander-in-Chief extended Ramadan wishes and reiterated the BDF's pledge to safeguard the Kingdom. The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications and Chairman of the Board of Directors of Bahrain Airport Company, Engineer Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, announced that the Pearl Lounge, the reception lounge for airlines at Bahrain International Airport, has received a five-star rating from Skytrax. On this occasion, the Minister affirmed that this new achievement comes as a result of the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the air transport sector. He hailed the support of the government, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to the sector, which constitutes an essential pillar of the economic growth in the kingdom. For his part, the CEO of Bahrain Airport Company, Mohammed Yusuf Al Benfala, said that the hospitality and reception loungers are one of the main facilities at the airports. Therefore, the Bahrain Airport Company has been keen to apply the highest international standards adopted in the internal and external engineering design for the lounge where modern design is mixed with the standards of traditional Bahraini hospitality. <laughs> 